Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about how we can pass uh, objects in methods or how we can return objects from methods. So before starting, you can uh, note down my information for your study and placement purposes. These information will be helpful for you. So uh, first heading is argument passing and the method will be call by value. So for this purpose, I have uh, implemented this program. Uh, in this program, there are two classes. First one is test and second one is call by value class. So when uh, you will be saving this program and after uh, compilation, you will receive two byte codes. First one uh, will be test dot class and second one be second one will be call by value dot class. So uh, test class contains a uh, swap method in which two integer type of arguments are received and swapping operation is performed in call by value class main method is defined object of test class is uh, created with the help of new then two variables a and b are initialized with 15 and 20 then system dot out dot print ln printed value of a and b on console then swap method is called with the help of ob ob is reference of test class in which new uh, has allocated memory so we can call swap method with the help of ob and uh, i have passed a and b arguments in it so these are actual arguments uh, value of a and b will be received by i and j variables these are formal parameters so uh, in call by value as you have uh, you might be studied in c and c++ uh, uh, in call by value we pass uh, values of actual arguments into formal arguments and when we change values of these formal arguments then actual arguments uh, does not change so in this program uh, a and b will print 15 and 20 here and a and b will print 15 and 20 here here so no effect will be uh, available on a, a and b while we are swapping values of i and j uh, here in this swap function so uh, if uh, you want to uh, make effect of formal parameters on actual parameters then you have to follow call by reference method instead of call by value so uh, here call by reference method is also available so in this program there are also two classes test and call by reference so in test class uh, this is a constructor which is receiving two arguments uh, in i and j so i is assigned into a and j is assigned into b so uh, you might have uh, studied constructor in c++ and you will be uh, uh, learning about constructor in my later tutorials so this is a parameterized constructor then swap method is defined which is rec receiving an object so this is the process uh, which is uh, explaining how we can receive an object of a particular class in a method so uh, uh, with the help of this object uh, values of a and b have swapped here then uh, in call by reference class main method is defined then ob uh, reference is uh, created and memory is allocated with the help of new then uh, 15 and 20 values are passed so uh, with the with this statement this constructor will be executed and uh, 15 and 20 will be initialized into a and b attributes then system.out.println will print ob.a and ob.b's values so these values are before swapping values then ob.swap so swap uh, method is called with ob and uh, i have also passed ob uh, here so uh, i am passing ob as object uh, from uh, swap calling and it is received here with o so uh, this is a call by reference here uh, i am passing uh, uh, ob uh, which is uh, having the object uh, inside it so it is passing that object into o so o is pointing to the object whose reference is available into ob so in uh, short uh, uh, you can say that uh, ob and o both the references are pointing to the same object so now if i am uh, going to change values of o dot a on o dot b then the change will reflect into ob so uh, after uh, finishing of this calling uh, 
uh, when system dot out dot println will be executed, ob dot a and ob dot b will be printing swapped values. So this is the call by reference method which can be achieved with the help of uh, class reference. Now another method which is returning object from methods. So again test class, uh, then constructor of test class, then a method of test class which is in increment by 10 and its return type is test. So it is indicating that uh, this function will return an object from function. So uh, here I have created a temporary object with new and I am passing a plus 10 here. Then I am returning temp uh, whose return type. Uh, so function uh, this method is having return type test. That's why I, uh, I am uh, able to return temp object from here. Then returning object class is defined uh, inside it main function uh, or method is available. Then ob1 uh, is uh, uh, declared here. Uh, with the new uh, operator uh, i have passed two as argument here so this will call uh, parameter as constructor so ob one's attribute will contain two then uh, test ob2 reference is created then i have called increment by 10 method with ob1 so this method calling will move to here then temp object uh, will be created here so a plus 10 so 2 plus 10 it means 12 will be stored into temp attribute and when temp will be returned it is received by ob2 so ob1 will print 2 and ob2.a will print 12 so here uh, increment of 10 is performed then ob2. increment by 10 uh, is again called and the result will be uh, stored inside ob2 so right now ob2's attribute contains 12 so here 12 plus 10 will be performed it means temp will occupy 22 it will uh, return 22 from this method and ob2 will receive 22 so this time it will print 22 on console so uh, with the help of these examples you will be able to understand how we can pass objects of the class uh, in the methods and uh, as an arguments as well as we can also return objects from methods uh, and uh, those uh, returned objects can be received uh, at the time of calling statement so with the help of these uh, examples, you can implement these programs. Uh, first program is to add two complex number. Second is to add two person's heights. So here height will be in feet and inch terms. Then to add two 1D arrays and to add two 2D arrays. So implement these programs uh, uh, with the help of these concepts by passing objects as argument and by returning object from methods. So these are my information, uh, these information will be helpful for your placement purposes. Thank you for watching this video.